Hi everybody, it's Karen here from tuppenscolor.co.uk. Thank you very, very much for joining me. And uh, this is what I've been making today. It is October, and that means it's nearly Halloween. And that means that you might be thinking about uh, trick or treat, or about Halloween parties. Um, and you might be wanting to uh, make a lot of gift bags to present your treats in. So today's project is a super quick and easy uh, treat bag. You could mass produce them, you could make a load of them, put them in a drawer already for Halloween and uh, then just fill them with treats on the night of the 31st. Stay with me, I'll show you how I made this one. Because I want this to be um, a very quick and easy project, I am going to be starting with a, uh, a pre-made uh, paper bag. Uh, this happens to be one I had in my stash. I think I got it to make a paper bag album or something similar. I can't remember where I got it from, but knowing me, it was probably either eBay or Amazon. It's likely to be one of those. And you can adapt this to fit any size of a base bag, or you could make your own. So uh, this bag is 10 inches by five inches by three inches. Uh, I'm really only worried about this measurement, the width of it, because I'm going to fold that bit over to make uh, a square bag. Um, so for my decoration, I have uh, cut a piece of granny apple green. Now this is a, is a piece that was a bit of scrap and I'm just looking for it because there it is. There's a little bit of a, a stain on there. Can you see it? Um, that's not going to matter because I'm going to cover that up and I've cut it to be a four and three quarters of an inch square. So that's going to be my, my Frankie Monster's face. I've cut a bit of basic black um, and I've cut it to four and three quarters of an inch wide and I think that's about three inches. It's much more than I'm actually going to need. So um, I'm going to begin by giving him a bit of a haircut. So I'm going to cut some random triangles just to give him a, a, a rather scruffy fringe. And as you can see, there's kind of no science to this at all. I'm just hacking away. All right, so that's going to be my Frankie Monsters fringe. So uh, I'm reasonably happy with that. So I've got my liquid adhesive. Now I've got that bit protruding at the top, but I'm going to trim that away. So, excuse me for one minute. I'll just use my snips because I'm in a super big hurry. Okay, and there's the start of my Frankenstein monster. So going to do a little bit of, uh, let's say that again, I'm going to do a little bit of sponging. So I have grey granite, which is a lovely neutral colour that you can use pretty much on top of anything, just to give it a little bit of depth. And I'm not using anything fancy, just a bit of kitchen sponge. I've got some blushing bride and I'm going to give him rosy cheeks, which is a rather strange thing for a Frankenstein monster, but he's my monster and I can have him however I jolly well like. 
Okay, so looking a bit weird at the moment because he has no features. So I've gone ahead and punched out two one inch circles out of uh, out of a little piece of Whisper White and uh, I was going to cut that bit but I don't think I will. I think I'll cut this bit and this is a three eighths of an inch circle punch. And I'm going to put a little bit of liquid adhesive Did I do that off camera? Silly me. I'm going to stick him down some googly eyes. A uh, tiny bit of sponging. And again, if you didn't want to do this sponging, if you were making a lot of these for a Halloween party, then you maybe you would um, kind of miss that bit out. So I'm just going to put those there uh, loose just for a moment because I shall decide on the final position when I've got a few more features in. Uh, another one inch circle punched out of Granny Apple Green and I'm just going to chop that in half and again in with the sponge. We'll do both of these. And now I'm going to pop those so I can give him a really googly-eyed expression. Which I rather think I like actually. So let me stick these down. Stick down his eyelids. weird googly eyed expression. Moderate that a bit. Do I like that? I'm not sure I do now that I've done it. I'm not sure I do but okay big thing about liquid adhesive it is forgiving. Yeah I'm sorry it's just too asymmetrical for me. Okay yeah, I think that's that's more like it, isn't it? Yeah, that's okay. Right, so he needs a nose. Now I've die cut the smallest of the layering um, layering ovals. I could have just punched out another circle. That would have been fine. And again, I haven't stuck his eyes down yet. I haven't stuck anything down. And here we go, sponging the oval nose. So yes, so I'm liking how that's coming together. So I'm going to stick his eyes down. So he's got a rather, rather cross-eyed, you know. He's had too much Halloween sweeties. Okay and we are nearly nearly done so he needs a uh, he needs a smile on his face I think. So let me see what I've got here. So I've got my uh, this is my uh, black journaling pen and uh, this is the the thicker of the two in the set. Um, I'm not sure if that's thick enough. Let's try my basic black, dark basic black. Yeah, I think that one's better. So I'm going to use the dark basic black pen and I'm going to put a start and a finish mark and then I'm just going to join them up with a wiggly line and I'm just going to go across with the other pen. Just 
so that they look like stitches. Um, I've got a white gel pen and I'm just going to add the highlight into his eyes just to make them look a little bit more alive. Again, quite a strange thing to do for a monster. And choose my treat bag. Now, all I need to do, liquid adhesive, front, and centre. And there is my gift bag, all ready to fill with treats for Halloween. And there is, that is the finished gift bag. Now, uh, to make it super quick, as I said at the beginning, I did use a pre-bought bag. If you wanted to uh, make one completely from scratch, there are lots and lots of tutorials out there uh, that will show you how to make a gift bag or a gift box. Uh, and I think he is super cute. He was super quick to make. Uh, you definitely could make quite a few of these in, in no time at all. And they would be uh, a nice way, I think, of, uh, you know, presenting a little... Um, a little goodie bag, a little gift bag for children to take away after a party. Uh, I've left it open, but you could quite easily put a little bit of sticky tape along the, the bottom of the bag there. Or you could fold the bag differently. You could kind of fold it up like that and maybe put um, a stamped sentiment on there. Entirely up to you. That is it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if so, do come back and see me again sometime soon, won't you? But for now, bye bye.